Okay, now we're going to look at how to find confidence and p-values using the normal distribution. So if we look at this in Chapter 3, we saw that the BMI for a large sample of U.S. adults is 27.655. We're told that the standard error is 0 .009. We use normal distribution to find a 99% confidence interval for the mean BMI of U.S. adults. Now remember, confidence interval is the statistic plus or minus Z splat times the standard error. Now we need to find Z splat. Basically, we're finding the endpoint, and it's for a 99% confidence interval. Remember that 99% is between the positive and the negative endpoint, hence the plus or minus. So we need to use inverse norm, 0.99 plus 1 minus 0.99 divided by 2. Because what happens, it's a 99% confidence interval. Here's our positive Z, here's our negative Z, and the area in between is the 0.99. So we need that 0.99 plus what's in the left tail. So, second vars, down to option three for inverse norm, 0.99 plus 1 minus 0.99 divided by 2. We have 2.576. So, 2.5. 7.6 is our value for Z splat. So if we look at what we have, again it's statistic plus or minus Z splat times standard error. Our statistic In this case, it's a mean, actually it's an X bar, not a mu, is 27.655. Our Z splat, which we just found, is 2.576. And we are told that the standard error is 0 0.009. So, for the confidence interval, we have 27.655 plus or minus 2.576 times 0 0.009. So, the 2.576 times 0 0.009 is 0 0.023. So this is 27.655 plus or minus 0 0.023, which gives us a confidence interval of 27.632 27.678. And then our interpretation, the wording of our interpretation, we are 99% confident that the mean BMI of all U.S. adults is between twenty-seven point 
27.632 and 27.678. Now let's see what this next problem is. A recent survey of 1,000 adults conducted in January 2013, 57% said they dine out at least once per week. Standard error for the estimate is 0 0.016. Use the normal distribution to find a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of U.S. adults who dine out at least once per week and interpret your answer. So we have our statistic. Plus or minus Z splat times the standard error. Well, our our statistic is the zero point five seven. Our Z splat inverse norm point nine five plus one minus point nine five over two. It's point nine five plus in parentheses. 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2. So we get 1.96. And our standard error, we are given as 0.016. So setting this up, we have 0.57 plus or minus 1.96 times 0 0.016. So that's 0 0.57 plus or minus 1.96 times 0 0.016. It's 0 0.0314. 0.031. So this gives us our interval as 0 0.539 to 0 0.601. And then the interpretation, we are 99 or 95% confident which we get from right up here that then what does it want us to do? It wants us to set the interval for the proportion of U.S. adults who dine out at least once per week. So that's the next part of our statement. That the proportion of U.S. adults who dine out at least once per week, and now we give the interval we get, is between 0 0.539 and 0 0.601. Now, next thing we're going to do is start looking at hypothesis testing, and we're going to find p-values. So, 
In previous chapter, we learned 67% of women in a random sample view divorce as morally acceptable. Does this provide evidence that more than 50% of women view divorce as morally acceptable? Standard error for the estimate, assuming the null hypothesis is true. Okay, so now we're going to use the normal distribution for coming up with p-values and going through our hypothesis test. So in a study that we looked at in Chapter 4, we learned that 67% of women in a random sample view divorce as morally acceptable. Does this provide evidence that more than 50% of women view divorce as morally acceptable? Standard error for the estimate, assuming a null hypothesis is true, is 0 0.021. So first we want to come up with the null and the alternative hypotheses. So this is a proportion because everything's in percent. So our null is that the proportion equals 0.50 because the null always has the equals, it's always that there's no change. The alternative is that P is greater than 0 0.50 because that's what it states in the problem. P is the proportion of women who view divorce as morally acceptable. Now, what is the test statistic? Test statistic is the sample minus the null divided by the standard error. So in this case, the sample 0.67, the null is 0 0.50, the standard error 0 0.021. So if we figure this out, we have 0.67 minus 0 0.50 divided by 0 0.021, which gives us 8.095. Okay, that's all we have to do for that one. Actually, we can put this step in here where this is 0.17 divided by 0 0.021. So now we want to find the p-value. So we want to find the probability of getting a response as extreme as 8.095, assuming that the null hypothesis is true. So our p-value is the normal CDF. As extreme means 8.095 is our lower limit. 999 is our upper limit. So second VARS, normal CDF, 8.095 is the lower limit, 999 is the upper limit, mean and standard deviation is 0 and 1. So we have 2.894E negative 16.
it's a probability anytime there's a number in front of the decimal point, you must find the exponent that's at the end because it means it was put in standard in scientific notation. Now, p-value, for our conclusion, p-value is smaller than any reasonable significance level so we have strong evidence that more than fifty percent of all women you divorce as morally acceptable as with the confidence interval we go back to the original problem and we want to see if there's evidence that more than 50% of women view divorce as morally acceptable. We use that information in our conclusion.